I want to go to your price target when it comes to low. So your price target's 208. It's 6% lower Correct. than the street. You also have a sell. Everybody else, well, the consensus, I should say, is a buy. What are you seeing that's so different than everybody else when it comes to Lowe's in particular, especially after Home Depot had a better than expected report? I mean, Home Depot's report is better than expected on the bottom line. But if you look at the sales number, it was, it was pretty weak on the comps in the U.S. And that's our expectation for Lowe's. I mean, I think right now mortgage rates are high. Uh, home equity lines are high, the, the rates on them. And we're just seeing people not do as much uh, with, you know, major remodels or even minor remodels. Spending has been going much more towards services, and we're almost at the point where we've worked off the extra spending uh, from the pandemic. So that's the good news. Okay. The bad news is rates are very high. I mean, just just for instance, uh, R5 Capital is both a research and consulting firm, so we're out there uh, leasing cars and doing what, what not okay. to get our people country. And what you're seeing is we, we tried to do something. It's eight percent uh, on a on a car loan. So it's just pretty amazing where rates are, and I think it's. Uh, Damping down, damping down demand. Okay. Um, I, I yeah. do want to push back a bit when you talk about rates are high. So I was looking on Mortgage News Daily. Our Dana Olick always says that's the source to go to. Um, the high in 2023 for a 30-year mortgage, which is the standard mortgage most of us have, was 8.03%. Right. right now it's down at 7.1%, a significant pullback. I also have friends in America's greatest city, Philadelphia, who are realtors. And they say it's a yeah. red-hot housing market there. Um, relatively, are, are mortgage rates actually high considering how high they were before? And the fact is that people still need to buy houses. Isn't that a big tailwind for a company like a Lowe's? I mean, either way, somebody's going to buy a house. People are going to move. Yeah, I mean, people are moving. But, I mean, if you look at listings, they're still down quite a bit. Um, I think it was, I think they saw the number 36% down from pre-pandemic levels. So you are getting some turnover in the housing market. But given the price appreciation, the shortage of housing on the market, uh, the high rates, the, the, the affordability is, is pretty okay. low. But, you know, Lowe's and Home Depot, both of them, I mean, things do break, right? Like refrigerators <laughs> break, yes. eating oil, home, he home heaters, you know, water heaters break. Uh, you need to paint a fence. Uh, so, so there is some underlying demand here. But I think the real story for the next year is going to be, you know, through 24, okay. just tough, uh, tough environment. All right. So one thing about Lowe's and Home Depot, uh, Lowe's is much more levered to the do it yourself person and also buying things like grills and like patio furniture. So are, are there any parts of this report that you expect to possibly be better than expected? You know, and, and not really. And yeah. I, maybe that's uh, <laughs> it's just. You know, one thing that makes me a little bit more nervous and our, our comp forecast for Lowe's is a little bit below where we were thinking with Home Depot is, again, we do a lot of consulting and we're out all over the country. And I know Walmart said last week they thought the low end was hanging in and there have been a couple of companies maybe kind of intimating the same thing. Our research and work would suggest that's really not the case. It may be company specific. Okay. And Lowe's, is a lot, Lowe's has a lot more exposure to like more rural areas, more middle income, lower middle income areas, not as much exposure to the, the, the pro. So we think that makes it a little bit more uh, tougher for Lowe's actually.